Among the many executive orders President Biden has signed since taking office, six are immigration related, several focusing on reversing policies set in place by the Trump administration. Paolo Suro is breaking down how the plans could impact Georgians. It's such a relief. It feels like I can like I can breathe again, like my my community has a fighting chance. Meet Yemi Cambron. She's one of the 20,000 DACA recipients in Georgia, according to the American Immigration Council. That's a number that could rise now after President Joe Biden signed an executive order reinstating the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, program, which protects undocumented immigrants who came to the country as children from deportation. When we see our leadership here in the country using terminology that affirms the contributions of all of the undocumented people in this country. I mean, that's just a huge deal. The five other immigration related orders include lifting the travel ban from Muslim majority countries, extending deferrals of deportation for Liberians, reversing an order that excluded undocumented immigrants from the census, pausing construction of the border wall and stopping the expansion of, quote, harsh and extreme immigration enforcement. We were, you know, hoping that it happened, but we were also very cautious, not, you know, for our hearts not to break. In addition, Biden proposed a bill that offers a pathway to citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S. According to the American Immigration Council, in 2018, Georgia was home to more than 1.1 million immigrants. If passed, those living in the U.S. without legal status could receive a green card in five years and an opportunity for citizenship three years after that. One of the top industries is agriculture. So I think the particular consideration of farm workers already present in the country uh, and providing them with a path is going to impact hundreds, if you not know, thousands and thousands of families in South Georgia. The Department of Homeland Security also issued a memo Wednesday that set strict rules for arresting and deporting immigrants and imposed a 100 day pause on some deportations. This means we could also start seeing changes in the court system. Immigration attorney Sarah Owing says the number of cases in immigration court in the beginning of the Trump administration compared to the end more than tripled. We have so many cases that are in that backlog. It's not necessarily reflective of new people coming to Georgia, but the fact that we're initiating these proceedings against folks here in our courts, it's also reflective of the fact that we have a large detained population. We have far more detention centers as this administration ends than we did at the beginning of it.